So, Mr. Blackmore, I have a question. So, you and I have known us for a long time, and my first experience with you, if you remember, were playing in San Diego. I got paired with you and Billy Glasson. So, I, first of all, I come up and I meet you, and you were not very cordial. You weren't really too interested in It wasn't my job to entertain you. Well, now, now, wait a minute. Now, let me... Okay, I understand now, but at the time, I was a little... I mean, you didn't really want to shake my hand. You didn't want to talk about much of anything. And we get out, and we go play, and we get on the first tee, and you hit it over here, and Glasson hits it over there, and I hit it in the fairway. I hit it up on the green, and you guys come in from somewhere, and I think you made a three, and he made a four, and I made par, or whatever. And as we're going through the round, uh, I keep hitting in the fairway and hit it on the green, and you guys are over here and over there. And, Whatnot, and I start noticing that you're three and four under, and I'm even par. And we get around and we finish, and I think maybe, maybe you hit three or four fairways, maybe. And I'm not sure, maybe six, seven, eight greens, and I probably hit 12 fairways and probably 17 greens, and you shot 68 or nine, and I shot 72 or three, which I thought was really unfair. Now, well, let me cap that off with 18 on the last day. So 18, South Course, Torrey. I thought you'd hit it out of bounds right. Glasson hits it left. I hit it down the middle. You guys knock it out there up somewhere by the lake. I hit a three wood just over the back edge of the green. You guys both hit wedges in there like this. You both make birdie. I chip it about five feet by, miss it, and make par. That's not fair. <laughs> no. No. Well, no. So you both make the cut, and I miss by one or two. And I, I was devastated because I'm going, well, these guys, they hit it sideways. But yeah. you should have scored. So what's that all about? Well, I used to play many tours and whatnot, even on tours to some degree. I used to look up and down the range at all the beautiful swings, the guys hitting it really good, and great putting strokes, and wedge games and everything else. And I, I kept wondering why I kept beating them, guys like you. <laughs> I had no business beating guys like you, but I was... I was very focused on trying to get the ball in the hole in the least number of strokes, however I had to do that. And I was willing to do anything that it took to do that. Part, one of, my, part of that is playing to your strengths, and one of my strengths was hitting it long ways. So was Billy Glasses. Yeah. And so to hit it short and try to hit a lot of fairways was not playing one no, of well, my strengths. No, I didn't hit it that short. No, you weren't short, but I, I didn't care how you hit it. it didn't, I didn't care you didn't about watch, you. You didn't watch me? No, I didn't care about you. I was worried about me. So the reason I didn't shake your hand was, let me ask you this first. Did I get in your way at any time in those two days? Did no. I walk, did I ever walk while you were hitting? No. Did I ever stand in your way while you were putting? No. So I didn't bother you? No. Okay. So do you, what, you have a complaint? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not there as your social friend and butterfly to pat you on the back and let's have a good time. I'm there for me and for me only. Now afterwards, we can go have lunch, we can go to a movie, we can go whatever. But during the course of the round, my sole purpose is trying to shoot a scores, and I am, I am totally engulfed in that, as much as I can, whatever I gotta do. And so, I'm like this, trying to play to my strengths, away from my weaknesses. And I got pretty good at that. And, and is it fair? Yeah, it's totally fair, because it's all about, the only that matters is a number on the board at the end of the day. And how you do it, it doesn't matter. They don't give style points in golf. It's not, you know, it's not diving, it's not gymnastics, it's just a number. And I played 16 years on tour, and I averaged 178th in fairways hit at a time when it was important to hit fairways. And I averaged 148th in greens hit over 16 years, yet I played 16 years. I only lost my card one time, and that was because I had a bad attitude. And um, I won three times, and a lot of guys hit it a whole lot better than me and didn't, weren't able to do that. And it was because a lot of factors, really, that I've come to appreciate that I didn't appreciate as much at that time. But it, more than anything else, it's a willingness to get outside the box and do whatever you have to do to shoot a score, whatever that is. And the only way you can do that is to know yourself, to know how you feel, to know what you're capable of, to know your game. You can't go out and do that based on what someone else tells you.